So I just want to say welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you so much for watching. It's been so great playing this game and recording it for you. And as always, enjoy this episode. What I want to do is look at the uh, quests. Yeah. Okay, nice. Uh, can we find where the quest is? That would make it easy. Nice, we made it to the professor's. Uh, so the quest, and here we go. We're gonna begin this quest. Well, that's weird. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Is you blind? Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh, oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty yeah, to yeah. Keep occupied while you're gone. You've of done course. exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. I already know that. Anyways. Almost to level 8. That makes me happy. Of course, cross uh, something. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. I thought potions were bad. Okay, Just let me... And Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Dude.
world map yo of course yeah yeah let me do this first Is she growing pungus onion again and then we're gonna see what's happening right now Is this her G class? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, this is the cutest uh, uh, teacher so far. Treat for your auntie. Well, you know, oh, just throwing it out there. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Sebastian, my guy. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the malefic tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Well, this is gonna hurt my ear, so disclaimer, lower the volume. Stupid plant. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our nice. next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy. So I'm, uh, I'm a gardener right now. Dittany's nice. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganwell's potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. 
Well, another disclaimer, I did not hear a word she said. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Oh, nice work in defense against the dark arts, by Bye. the way. Bye. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. See that dummy? Just toss the cabbages out What of it. do I have to do? They'll do the rest. Attack dummy target with the charming cabbage. Is that it? Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the de noling, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Is that it? Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but. Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Well, this is hard to pick. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Nice. Goodbye. I'm here, teacher. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. Just being nice. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Nice. Now to do it. Okay. Level eight. Been waiting on that. Now what? Let me see the outpost. Now these are the two new ones. Let me see the uh, wests. Spell combination, crossed wand. Nice to see you, my young friend. Okay. Now that makes stuff easier. Yeah, finally we made it. Future champion coming through. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Of course. Ready for a shot at glory? Come on. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Give me yes, Sebastian. Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Is that a 4-on-2 match? 
ามาโอเคงามอ่ะน่ามาเดทซีซี Well, they are. I have to take her down. She's. This is easy. Fire, pussy. Come on, that's easy. Give me a challenge, buddies. What a victory! You won the tournament. Of course, I. It's an honor. I'm just getting started. Nothing. I'm just getting started. Of course. If the best you list in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Dern Strang. Now to the victor goes the prize, and so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Give me me stuff. 